Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to show you is how to take off a Sonora reproducer. Sonora reproducers are built with the exhibition rubber material. And they have more than two gaskets in them, and I will explain that. And everything's replaced with the exit. Victor Exhibition rubber material. Off camera I've done a few things. I've taken the screw out of the needle bar. But these right here. You can see that the diaph the, the mic is cracked. So to get it off, you have three screws. One here, there's one there, one there. We'll take this one out. And I always use a mag magnetic screwdriver on these. I don't want to lose these little screws. Then this will just pry apart. But on Sonoras, they have this material, which is the exhibition gasket material. And that f fits in here. And it's usually weather glued itself all around here and then you have another one under here. Everything seals on this reproducer, not just the two gaskets holding the mic in place. Then you will come in with your small screwdriver and undo the needle bar screw from the mica. I've already done that. It's sitting over here in my little tray. And after you take that out, you'll flip this over. You'll undo the two springs. Like that. You always want to put everything in a little cup or a bowl or a coffee cup so you don't lose everything. I'll do this one. And now the needle bar falls right off. Because Sonora, the mica fits into the reproducer. You have to come in and this gasket material is pushed in. So you'll have to grab it, pull it out like that. You can see how destroyed the mica is. Because the mica is old and rotten, we'll just pop it out like that. But these micas slide in here like that. And then there's another gasket material. You can see the white gasket material. You'll have to pry that out. You can see how old and cruddy it is. Just a minute. You want to do this carefully. You don't want to hit the paper on the. There we go. And you just pull that one out. Let's get that one out. There we go. There's a recessed area in here. You can see where the screwdriver comes in. There's a recessed area. Now what you will do is you'll take the exhibition material and you'll measure all this out and you will insert a new one, making it just a little bit longer than you need so it presses. Then you will insert a new diaphragm or the old one. A mica? Mica, this diaphragm, the mica. And you will have cut another piece of gasket material. Then, before you put that gas last gasket material in, you're going to hook up the needle bar and align the hole in the end of the needle bar to the hole in the middle of the mica. 
and you can see the hole in the middle of the mica. And after you get this aligned, and you've flipped it over and you've added the screw, then you will put the two springs in. And the springs have two sides. You can see here, we have a little bend. So this, the screw goes in this end, and it puts, with a bend, it puts tension right here on the needle bar. After you get this put in, then you wax it on both sides. Then you take a blunt object, like this round piece of wood, and a Q-tip, and you set your new gasket material in. Then you push down on the mica, and you push it in all the way around. And it's a little bit tricky, but you can, you can try it out a little bit. You, want, you don't want to mar the gasket, the, the mica. And then after you do all that, and you got all this together, then you're going to build two little gaskets for in here that press against here. This pin here, right here where my thumb finger is, goes into this slot here. It fits together. But this really improves the Sonora reproducers. And then it just all bolts back together. Very kind of complicated. You know, your first time you might be a little worried, but it'll work. You know, and this is my tip for the day.